It is a slap in the face. And you might as well stomp on the grave of Tyree Nichols for bringing this bill. Yes, we are emotionally charged. Why? Because it's personal for us. Taylor made this personal the minute he introduced this legislation to target one family and one life that was lost. So, yeah, we're going to fight. Dr. King said the, the riots are the language of the unheard. You ain't saying nothing yet. If you keep silencing us like this, what do you think our district's going to do? We have had it up here. Gloves off. Like, we're going to fight like hell. You don't, you don't expect us to respond when you gaslight us every single day with these bills? There's a bill to, to get rid of the Tennessee Human Rights Commission that they're going to bring. To abolish it. Root it in the Civil Rights Act. To make sure that we have protections for folks that look like Tyree Nichols. Don't tell me this stuff ain't racist. Don't tell me it's not. It is rooted in racism. This was a Jim Crow bill that Taylor brought and all his Confederates voted for it today. Outbursts of intense frustration and indignation regarding injustice and oppression echo loudly. Her plea for protests emerges as a pressing call for acknowledgement and validation of the challenges confronting marginalized communities. Labeling Charlie Oliver's statements as highly provocative and potentially incendiary is not only reckless, but perilous. Urging for riots, particularly in a political climate already steeped in heightened tensions, carries significant risks. Charlie Oliver's characterization of pro-police legislation appears biased and one-sided unfairly singling out law enforcement agencies while undermining public safety. While some may argue the necessity of such legislation to maintain societal order and safeguard communities against crime, it's essential to scrutinize its broader implications. Charlie Oliver's inquiry serves as a prism through which we examine the profound ideological chasm between proponents of law and order and champions of social justice. Delving into the psychological impetus propelling Charlie Oliver's fervent advocacy and the potential ramifications of their investigation on public dialogue and social equilibrium reveals the entrenched polarization of contemporary political discourse. Negotiating the discord between competing values and priorities within diverse societies underscores the formidable challenges inherent in such endeavors. <laughs>